Hello everyone, it's Professor McAllister here for another Study Skills Sunday. Tonight I'm going to talk to you about the Bloom's Taxonomy. Many of you have probably already heard about this, but it's important that you understand it. So I'm going to explain it to you, and I'm going to show you how you can use this information to get better grades. The, the Bloom's Taxonomy was created in 1956 by Dr. Benjamin Bloom, and he used this pyramid to promote higher level thinking and to help students learn how to analyze and evaluate information. Basically, it's, it's a classification of the levels of learning. I have a pyramid here, Bloom's Taxonomy. It starts at the bottom with knowledge. Knowledge is where you were in high school when you had to memorize the times tables. Two times four equal eight. Okay, that's where you were. The next level of thinking is understanding. And with understanding, that's where you can uh, talk about, explain what meiosis is or mitosis is. The third level is application. With application, you learn how to apply the, a formula, a particular formula to solve a word problem. The next step on the Bloom's taxonomy pyramid is analyzing. When you analyze information, that's using your judgment, your own judgment, based on the information you've already received. And it will help you determine, for example, the difference between a fact and an opinion. The next step is evaluating. When you evaluate, excuse me, when you evaluate information, you're interpreting it. Uh, an example would be the ability to compare and contrast meiosis and mitosis. And then the final stage of Bloom's taxonomy is to create. And what you do when you create is you take all your previously learned information, all this previously processed information, and create your own theories, create a new situation. So how is this going to help you with studying? First of all, when you study, you must know this, excuse me, know this information well enough to be able to teach it to someone else. By doing so, you'll be able to perform well on exams. There are five things you can do to be able to acquire all this higher level thinking. First is you must always Preview your text chapters before going to class. That includes reading the titles, reading the graphs, and reading the summary in the chapter if there is one. That way you've primed your brain. It's ready to go in and absorb the information from the lecture. The second step is to make sure you go to class every single class. Yeah, I know not all classes take attendance, but you cannot afford to miss if you're trying to ace the class, okay? Be sure you review your, your class notes within 24 hours of the lecture. And I've mentioned this before. You've got to practice retrieving that information within 24 hours before the brain dismisses it as being non-important. And then you study, study, study. You must study several times a week. And definitely again on the weekend, if you wait until the night before an exam to study, you're just cramming. You might even get a good grade, but all that information will leave you shortly. And in nursing and in health sciences, 
information builds one thing builds upon the other it's important that you have a solid foundation when you first start nursing school you'll get classes uh, your exams will may mainly be down here understanding and uh, uh, just having the knowledge maybe being able to label the bones or whatever but each semester it gets progressively more difficult each semester then you will be presented with information such as you have a patient who has a, a gushing womb in the stomach but they're also having seizures how would you treat this patient which should you do first so see it's not enough to know just how to close a gaping wound and stop the bleeding it's not enough to know what to do if a stu if a excuse me a patient is having seizures you have to be able to prioritize and figure out what's the best step lastly check your learning every now and then just to make sure you're right on target these skills these strategies will help you improve your grades and later on in, in future study skills sunday videos i'll give you more specific information and how to use this okay thank you hi thanks for watching my video if you found my video helpful please indicate it by hitting the like button you're also welcome to leave any questions or comments down below lastly don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notification of all my future videos thank you